my name is John Rodig. Um, I actually uh, run a website called the, the Junkman's Adventures. It's kind of a motorcycle how-to site uh, where I just show basic uh, how-to videos related to kind of motorcycle tech and such. And uh, that's kind of my uh, mechanical background. You know, I don't work in the construction trade or uh, flooring trade. Uh, so I'm a DIYer like most other uh, homeowners out there. Well, the first project I used with Allure was a, uh, a combination laundry room slash uh, hallway that exited into uh, a garage area. And I wanted something in there uh, because it could be potentially be a wet area with the uh, washer and dryer. And, um, and then also it's kind of a mud room as well, so I needed something that would be easy to clean. Uh, mud, dirt, grease, oil, gas, <laughs> all those kind of things that you might track in from a, a working garage like I do here. Um, I needed something that would be easy to clean, durable for that, and then also easy to, easy to lay. I uh, looked at tile, and primarily reasons why I didn't go with tile is uh, tile's cold, installation. Uh, I didn't feel confident uh, at that time uh, laying tile in that kind of situation. Um, it had regular old, you know, like 1970s uh, linoleum um, or a vinyl floor uh, that's glued down. Also, and it was, I could tell it would be difficult to get up and then get the substrate prepped for tile. That was another reason against tile. I, you know, thought about uh, lamp, uh, wood laminates uh, as well, you know, those composite wood laminate click-to-lock floors, I guess a lot of people call them. And it was kind of the water and uh, oil and gas aspect that I just didn't think that those would be an ideal choice for it. So, and then I thought about uh, kind of a, the old, you know, peel and stick uh, vinyl tiles. But then again, those don't work well over the existing vinyl that I had there or they would lift. I just know they would. And so when I saw the Allure product, I saw how it, it stuck to itself, the grip strip products. So it was a floating floor, much like a click and lock type floor. And, uh, you know, no adhesive and looked pretty durable. So I thought, well, I'll give it a chance. And it's so inexpensive. I thought, well, if I hate it in a year, I'm going to rip it up and put something else in if I didn't like it. I am, like I said, that's been two, two and a half years ago, and, uh, and I love it. It went down easy. I used a tile look, um, and it was easy to line up, you know, the uh, printed on uh, grout lines to, uh, to make it simulate a tile look. And, uh, you know, cutting around obstacles and things was not a problem, and it has been very resistant to all the chemicals that it's come in contact with, because typically I have grease, gas, oil on my shoes or on my hands, and it drips and or and stuff, and it hasn't under you know momentary uh, application of, of a little bit of gasoline, not not a big puddle or anything, but uh, you know a few drips are here. It didn't didn't eat it, didn't didn't seem to affect it. So I've been uh, pleasantly surprised at the durability of it uh, with all the foot traffic that that particular room gets being a mudroom and then a uh, laundry area. I've installed it in two, in, uh, two of my bathrooms um, and the primary choice there was well I saw how well it held up there and then also that was definitely warm underfoot or warmer underfoot than tile and same deal my bathrooms had old 1970s laminate that uh, was not applied very well, lots of adhesive lumps and things that I knew I, I was probably going to be having to replace slub floor to prep for any kind of other tile or flooring option. So, you know, Allure was just a kind of a natural choice there. Love it there. It's it's warmer underfoot than, than tile, and I have, you know, friends that have tile, and it's definitely uh, kind of shocks you when you barefoot, uh, in a bathroom sense there. So, and then just the ease. 
ease and uh, water resistance and then that kind of environment because you know you're stepping out of the tub or shower and you know you're going to get a lot of water on the floor no matter what you do so that was my main reasoning behind it and also same with the kitchen application was um, you know same crappy uh, <laughs> uh, linoleum had a seam in the middle of the room and uh, I liked it so much and it was so inexpensive to do that that much square footage put it down and same deal expectation was if I hated it I didn't spend much money on it I could rip it up later and do something else if I thought but uh, I, I knew that wasn't gonna really happen because I've already had uh, plenty of experience with its durability and and of course the look went with a wood look there and uh, it it fools people when they first see it and they have to actually get down and kind of touch it and kind of stamp on it a little bit to really say that this isn't <laughs> you know they think it's a laminate uh, honestly or or engineered floor at first glance I'd recommend specifically the grip strip product uh, to anyone that is kind of undecided on flooring choices and uh, doesn't know which way they want to go and honestly is budget-minded um, I do want to say you know this isn't a pre in my opinion this is my opinion this isn't a premium floor as in you know you're not you're not going to fool anybody that this is real hardwood or anything like that um, however like that it's resilient so you drop a dish on it it's not going to break like a tile and you, you don't risk breaking a tile when you drop something heavy on it which is uh, the other thing if it's uh, you know I'd say uh, people with uh, families little kids where stuff like that is going to get dropped on the floor a lot and also if you're going to have a lot of spills and things uh, and then just the ease of uh, application it's if, if you're smart enough to run a tape measure uh, you can pretty much install this floor